we're happy that we, we go into the last two games at home, backed up by our, by our fans, knowing that two victories assure us of a place in Brazil. I met you in Uzia today and played a little game of cards with him and he, um, he asked me a lot of questions, you know, on what it's like being a, a professional footballer. So it's, uh, it was great to meet him and obviously it's great for us when you see the, the smiles on kids' faces when you meet them. It's um, we get a lot of, of joy out of there. Champion. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you will definitely need six points? Well, I think it'll help if we get the six points. Obviously, um, our two home games, we have to go into the two games knowing the. Um, if we can do that, then we're, we're through. If so be a four might take us through, we get the four and we go through, then that's great, but we'll um, certainly be trying to get the six. International football is tough, you know, there's no easy games and it's the best players from, from every country. So, you know, I know I know a couple of Polish players at Arsenal, you know, and they won't be wanting to, to give up easily, you know, they're great characters and they'll be up for it. And, you know, Montenegro got some top players as well, so, it's a tough group, you know, and Ukraine was a tough place to go, so, you know, but it's in our hands now, that's what we wanted going into these last two games, and, and we just have to get ourselves ready for that. As the group progressed, that was our, our main aim, that, you know, we weren't relying on any favours come, coming into this week. We'd have liked to have obviously got it done and dusted by now, but that's not the case. Um, but, you know, we're still looking at it from a, from a very positive angle, you know, if we get the, the two results we need, um, like you say, it's in our own hands and we're booking our flight to Rio.
I've been impressed by by the whole squad. It's been a, a very good week's training and we're just happy now that the game will come along tomorrow night and we feel ready for it. The important thing is to make certain that we we attack very well, but on the other hand we need to be careful, you know, it would be more difficult task for us if we if we are uh, adopting a gung-ho approach and suddenly we find ourselves a goal to kneel down, that will complicate the task enormously. But I'm very confident that the team I've got to work with here, that they, they'll strike the right balance between attacking and defending and that we'll cause Montenegro plenty of problems with our attacking play, but at the same time we'll be hopefully as difficult to score against as we were in the Ukraine. So where do these two games stack up in terms of their importance, do you feel, for the English game? Yeah, right up there, up there with the most important games I've played for England uh, in the 105 I've, I've already played and you know, we're at a critical stage of the qualifying campaign now and, and it's up to myself and the players to deliver the very important games. And I've been very impressed this week by the, by the quality of training, by the quality of the football in the training and I know but if the team, as Stephen said, you know, we, we need to deliver, I know they will deliver. And I'm convinced that tomorrow night you will see a very, very good England team. Stride. The way the way he like played today, I don't think many defenders can deal with him. Um, with his pace, his determination to get past players, um, the way that he drove the team forward is incredible, and um, it's a great debut for him. It's been a great night tonight. Let's make sure um, Tuesday's even better. I think as players we're aware of uh, the pressure on, on the two games um, but in the actual camp and the, the training we've been doing has been very much similar to how we would prepare for any other game. These are the games that you look forward to even though you know the pressure is really on. You do look forward to them, these are the, the big games, everyone wants to be involved in big games. Hopefully they'll go the right way uh, and we'll win the game Tuesday night and obviously it will be, it'll be great celebrations after, the, after it.
Are you, are you pleased you're playing a Poland team who are out, have no hope? Is that, does that make it easy, do you think, psychologically? Or does it not matter? They'll be inspired by the yeah. fact they've got caught at the stadium, their supporters. Yeah, uh, I really don't know the answer. It's, it's, you know, the only honest answer I can give you is I don't know. Some, some people will argue having nothing to play for weakens you. Some people will argue having nothing to play for but playing at Wembley in front of 90,000 people with, with a big support from your own crowd as well will be very inspiring and it gives you nothing to lose. They will play as they want to play. They'll pick the team they want to pick and they'll come out as motivated as they want to be. We've got to be at our best again and we've got to be 100% uh, prepared for whatever they come in. Is. And Baines knows where the man in the middle is. And Wayne Rooney delivers again. No surprise that Leighton Baines made it, and no real surprise that Wayne Rooney scored it. He has picked up England from time to time in this group and carried them onwards and upwards. And uh, down goes Gerard, but the ball's in the net. And the captain has sent England to Brazil. The job is done, and no better man to complete it. Roy Hodgson has some fine young players, but tonight Wayne Rooney and Steven Gerrard have scored the goals to do the job, to wrap up the group. Where it is, it can be anywhere in the world. So that's you know enough uh, motivation you need to try and do well. We're not going there as tourists, you know. We're going there to try and do well. So um, hopefully we can do that. I've had some wonderful nights as a Liverpool player and, and captain in Liverpool, but to lead the team to Rio uh, is, is a special feeling. And I think you can see my reaction after the second goal when we knew it was in the bag. How happy I was. <laughs>